We go to Dodger Stadium right now because Brewers star Ryan Braun is has the headset on. And Ryan, it's Kevin Burkhardt here across town in L.A. Congratulations for you. And here you go. You're, you're facing Bueller, who's been sensational. He's allowed four runs total at home since the All-Star break. And you guys jump on him early. How did you guys do it there in the early going? Yeah, it was challenging to see early in the game, too. There were some shadows, and, and obviously the pure stuff that Bueller's featuring is probably about as good as anybody we have in our game today. Uh, so you know you're not going to get a lot of opportunities, but this postseason we've all talked about the importance and significance of trying to get ahead early. Anytime we get base runners on, just making sure we try to bear down, uh, give ourselves every opportunity to get ahead because momentum is so important in all of these games. Hey, Ryan, Alex Rodriguez here. I know that uh, you're in your 12th year with this team. Out of the University of Miami, fifth pick in 2005, First of all, how fun is it for you living in Malibu, being right here at home, and how nerve-wracking was that ninth inning for you? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, first of all, this is so much fun, man. This is what we all play for. Obviously, as, as you get a little older in this game, uh, you recognize that you may not have too many more opportunities to do this. This is when baseball is most enjoyable. I love just the emotion of these games, the adrenaline that everybody's able to play with. The, the excitement and the enthusiasm is so special. Uh, and for me, obviously, I grew up in L.A., grew up a Dodger fan, um, dreamed of having an opportunity to do something like this. I think that dream when I was young started with me in a Dodger uniform. But obviously, <laughs> as I got to the big leagues, uh, the dream changed a little bit. It, but it is uh, it's extra special for me for Yelly for Moustakis uh, and for our, for our owner Mark Atanasio as well because all of us are LA guys yeah. hey Ryan what's up brother this is Big Poppy right here man how you doing <laughs> hey Poppy what's up my man not I'm much good, man, man. I, I was nervous I was nervous in the ninth though but I'm, I'm, I'm better now <laughs> yeah. yeah hey you know what man congratulations on the win tonight I'm I'm, I'm seeing a lot of uh, leadership coming out uh, for, from you to these guys young group of talented kid uh, and the Brewers um, organization. I had a question for you. I, we were talking about the shouting between the pitcher and the hitter early in the game, and we saw you banging that breaking ball. Mm -hmm. But I know that you guys also, are the, uh, uh, you guys feel you guys have the shadow in between also. Mm -hmm. So you were kind of prepared to deal with the shadow just because you got it, you guys have it at home. I mean, how you how you put up with it? Yeah, I mean, it's not easy. I think uh, the shadows that we deal with at Miller Park are probably as challenging as anywhere we play, so that's something that prepares us for something like this. Um, but you just go out there, you battle, you compete. Um, you know that it's not going to be easy. It makes it extra challenging when the guy's throwing 99 with a 94-mile-an-hour cutter, a good slider, a good curveball, uh, and pretty good feel for all those pitches. So uh, as you guys probably saw early in the game, there were a lot of bad swings on both sides. Um, but I think the shadows are actually a slight benefit to us because, um, you know, I think that the advantage in the series, at least if you looked at it on paper was was their starters at the beginning of the game so it makes it uh, obviously equally challenging for both offenses but uh, it was it was big for us to get ahead there in the first inning cool Ron Frank Thomas here um, did you guys take this game as a, as a must win and now you feel like you're playing with house money after this game tonight uh, we take every game as a must win. I think that's why we've been so successful over the last three weeks. I mean, uh, we started in, in Pittsburgh going into that last game we had there. Uh, following that, we went to St. Louis. Um, after that, we played a series at home against Detroit. We played game 163 at Wrigley. We've approached every single one of them as a must win. Uh, and we've played in, in these pressure-packed um, environments, and I think that's something that's really benefited us. Uh, but certainly, we don't feel like we're playing with house money for the next couple. We've got to find a way to get another one, and we'll approach tomorrow uh, as a must win as well. Ryan, I know you're from LA. Hey, where the party at, buddy? I want to join you. Uh, the, where the party ho at? Hopefully, hopefully we get an opportunity to have a party. We need two more wins before that would happen. <laughs> All right, man. Good luck. Uh, Ryan, Ron, kind enough to join us. Ryan, uh, you know, uh, congrats again. Awesome night for you guys. Go enjoy this, and we'll talk to you soon, okay? Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me.